Hey there, golfers and golfettes. Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf. And I am completely off my rocker and really excited to share something awesome with you all today. Have you read the most recent Golf Digest? Hmm? Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you have Golf Digest? If you don't, it doesn't matter. I'm going to share this with you today. We've got an awesome tip from the best golfer in the world, Tiger Woods. And he's telling us to keep your shoulders and your hips and knees stacked. Oh, that word, stacked. Oh, such, a, such a violent word today. No, it's not. You've been taught all the wrong things your whole life. So I want you to clean out all the garbage you've been learning your entire life and just listen to what I'm telling you right here today. This is the best tip you can get in a Golf Digest for having a body-friendly swing. And it's only told by the man himself, okay? Tiger Woods, right here. We should strive in our setup to be stacked over the golf ball. Hips, shoulders, hips, knees, all in a straight line. None of this ridiculous, I'm gonna start with a ton of side bend crap. This causes you to have more back pain. And unless you want back pain, I suggest you change your intention. All right, if I'm getting strict, I just came off of a really tough and brutal lesson, and we, 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 I worked things out with a guy, but it doesn't matter, you gotta be strict in this game because I don't really care how you feel. I just want you to do this the right way. All right, in the golf swing, this is told by the man himself, the Tiger Woods, stay stacked over the ball in picture one. Okay, good setup, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Two, turning to the top, top of back swing, right there. He is staying stacked over the ball. Look at the lead knee. It's down. It's got weight on it. It's got this. A top of back swing. The left knee goes down to the ground. He's applying pressure. Weight is going down into the left leg. This helps keep his body centered over the golf ball. Not only that, it creates power. As he builds pressure into the front leg, he can push off of that in the downswing, as we will see here. Look at this. He's pushing off, that lead leg starts moving up, back leg starts going down, okay? They're working in opposite directions. That's time he's pushing off of the ground, and then he gets to impact, and boom, he's got a nice right side bend. This is really important, everything he's telling you in this article, probably one of the best articles Golf Digest has put out. Here's why it's so important. Other than being technically sound and based on physics and geometry, which never fails, you know what does fail? The wrong swing philosophies. I've been swinging the wrong way for most of my life. And then I discovered stack and tilt. <gasps> I said it. Stack and tilt. Woo! But I said those words four years ago or six, six years ago. I got crucified and burned at the stake in college for saying I was doing stack and tilt. You know what? Eight years later, when everybody's burning us at the stake for doing this stuff, look at this. Keep your shoulders, hips, and knees stacked. They realize there's no better way to swing the club than to do it the way it's always been done, like Ben Hogan, Sam Sneed, those guys did it, Jack Nicholas, and even Today, you're seeing all the guys doing it, but they're not telling you they're doing it because they're so afraid to use those buzzwords, stuck and tilt. It's also been the golf machine. It's all the same stuff. Ben Hogan did it. There's so much proof in the pudding. Watch all these guys on TV. You're going to see this. They're not loading the right side. So, let's go a little bit further here. As far as my setup, because of all my back issues, which, by the way, all your back issues, Mr. Woods, came from loading the right side heavily and keeping this right leg flexed. Because he thought it was a power move. That's all, that's all we knew back then. I had back issues because of the same dang thing. All right, I've tried to avoid side bend in my swing, and that all starts with how I stand on the ball. He's referring to his setup. He's trying to avoid starting up like this. This is not a very comfy position to start the swing from. Not only that, it causes you to hit the ball thin. All right. I like to find a balance in athletic posture that's free of any tension. Tension kills, you don't want to do that. And he thinks that he finds the biggest 
the biggest key for solid contact is to keep your hips, knees, and shoulders stacked in a straight line. That is so true. And I'll explain why in just a little bit. All right, here we go. My backswing has changed a lot throughout the years. I used to load up more on my right side to try and create as much width as possible. It's just a misconception. We don't create power in a straight line in golf. Golf is a rotational game. We create it on a circle. So here's where he's going to tell you. Now, that's how a young man swings a club. That's how he swung the club and that's how he hurt himself. Now to put less strain on my body, I try to keep my head and chest more stable and turn around my right side. Folks, this information is not new. It might seem like, wow, what a breakthrough, Tom. This is not new. Keep my head stable, turn my chest to the right around my right side, allow the lower body to pivot. We see this in all of the great ball strikers of all time. And so I'm not afraid to assert that this swinging method is the most successful method for golfers out there today. Anybody, all of the guys are doing it. What you're gonna see in the golf swing, nice slow motion swing here. Watch what I do throughout my body. You're gonna see starting off stacked, shoulders, hips, knees, all stacked. Weight slightly forward. As I take the club back, my head's gonna stay in the same place. My body's gonna turn. Boom, left knee goes down, right knee goes up a little bit. Perfect. I've got some pressure forward. On the downswing, I'm gonna start moving into the ball. Boom, weight's moving more forward and I'm pushing off the ground with my left leg into the ball. Impact, just like good old T-dubs. Through the ball, I extend upward and I finish like this, taking all of the stress off of my body. It's 100% body friendly, most efficient way to swing the club. So, do exactly what Mr. Woods is saying. And why am I so irritated about this? Because this has been around for so long, but there are select groups of people that choose to withhold the truth from you golfers. And they give a, they attach a bad stigma to stack and tilt. And you really don't know what you're getting yourself into. You've been conditioned to believe all the wrong things your entire golfing life. You've been conditioned to shift your weight to the right, shift off the golf ball, and then release your hands and lift the club and drop the arms. And it's never worked for you because that's why you're still looking on the internet and you're finding videos like this. All right, so get yourself over the ball stacked, put the weight forward, check out my other YouTube videos because I'm teaching you how to do it the right way. Hit a beautiful crispy golf shot. 200 million yards to target shot after shot every time. Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf with a really exciting episode for you all. Have an awesome week and I'll see you on the range. Go out there, beat the stigma that these people have been trying to put into your head for years because you know what happens if you do a ton of lessons with somebody, all they want you to do is keep coming back for lessons so you're never going to get better. I don't care. I actually don't want you to be around very long. I want to get you in and out and playing good golf as fast as possible. So my goal is not more lessons, it's just to get you done and have more fun. See you on the range.